it's an exciting field because there's so much more to do, but it's also exciting because you can impact things very, very quickly. So we can implement things in the clinic right here in southwestern Pennsylvania and make a change locally, but we can have a broader impact as well. She has done a, a very nice job of blending being an educator with being a researcher, but also with providing professionals or other audiologists with information on how to clinically apply the research. So sometimes that's a gap where you have research and you have information, but the clinical application doesn't always seem intuitive. Having her the director of audiology at UPMC and a full-time faculty member here within SHRS, it's really a feather in the cap for us. She creates this liaison for us, for our students within UPMC, giving them the best possible experience that, that they can have. We've really pushed out to what we call interventional audiology, and I think that's something audiologists want to embrace and think about. Catherine is worried about hearing impairment in the elderly, so she's developed a program for screening of the elderly. This is the idea of going into senior living or into the inpatient hospitals where people, hearing they don't think is their concern, but hearing is getting in their way of, of recovering or socializing. But that means we have to get out of our clinics and we have to figure out how to get other healthcare providers to be part of that. Catherine always goes above and beyond. Our other healthcare providers, you know, they become evangelists because they'll have a patient that was really difficult and then we put a simple amplifier on them and suddenly they calm down and then that's our best referrer. You know, it's, it's very disturbing to not hear. It's very frightening, especially once you're then in a healthcare situation that's frightening anyway. She is someone who is meeting with key stakeholders, uh, patients, community members, to help advance the profession and field of audiology. I'm the president-elect of the American Academy of Audiology. It's a disruptive time um, because we're gonna see over-the-counter hearing aid products come out. So it's an exciting time to be in this role to both help audiologists um, navigate what that's going to mean in terms of patient care, and then also helping patients be able to find audiologists and, and be able to navigate that system. I love what I do because I change people's lives every day. And whether that's the student or the patient, I, I, you know, I'm so blessed to be in that position, to be having an impact on people literally every single day.